Section 3. At the end of this section, you should be able to discuss the types of finishes. Wood is porous and is an absorbent material. If left unfinished, it will absorb moisture, oils, and dirt. As a result of general use, after a period of time, unfinished wood discolors, shrinks, swells, or warps. Finishes can help to protect the wood against these conditions and enhance the beauty as well. The application of finishes is the last stage that gives the furniture its new look. Before this is done, the furniture has to be prepared to receive the finishing materials. To do a good job of wood finishing, you must know the properties of the wood, the characteristics of the finish, and the correct and safe methods of application. All wood finishes can be grouped into three general types. Transparent coatings are coatings that can be seen through. Examples include shallock, varnish, and lacquer. Penetrating finishes actually soak into the wood rather than just coat it. These may be applied plain or mixed with color. Examples include linseed oil, Danish oil, and tongue oil. Opaque finishes cover the surface completely. These cannot be seen through. Examples include paint and enamel. Let us consider some of the materials for finishes. Polyurethane. Polyurethane is the finish most resistant to moisture, heat chemicals, and abrasions. However, its application has a cloudy appearance. Oil finishes. There are many different kinds of oil finishes. Some are easy to use and others are very time consuming. Linseed oil, boiled. Linseed oil was the choice of the old timers. Linseed oil gives a fantastic finish, but you need a very long time to apply it. This may add up to several weeks. Other oils. The other oils are much easier to use. Danish oil and tongue oil are two popular oil finishes. They are very easy to use and come in clear and pigmented colors. Varnish. Varnish is linseed oil mixed with the shellac flakes instead of alcohol. It requires a sanding process between each application coat. Lacquer. Lacquer is a very durable finish. It's flexible and is very easy to keep up. Lacquer is easy to apply, rub, polish, repair, and if necessary, strip and remove. Regular lacquer should only be applied with spray equipment, but with proper mix of thinner, it may be rubbed. Steps in applying finishes. Although the materials may vary, all finishing is done in about the same approach. There are several basic steps. We will discuss the following steps. 1. Sanding. It is important to sand the wood before applying any finish. Sandpaper is graded depending on the number of sand granules per square inch of paper. The greater the number, the finer the grade of paper. Smaller grade number, the coarser the sandpaper. This number is usually printed behind the paper. Medium grade paper is used to remove the existing finish from furniture and antiques. Fine graded paper is for the last sanding of furniture just before staining the wood. Sand with progressively finer grade papers, starting with medium to fine. Sand in the direction of the grain, never against it. Sanding against the grain will cause scratches that will show up on finished wood, especially after staining. 3. Staining. Staining is done to enhance the grain and to achieve the color you want. Before staining the wood, dust must be taken off the surface. 4. Sealing. Sealing is done to seal the stain and thus prevent it from bleeding into the top coat. It enriches the stain and stiffens the fibers of the wood. 5. Filling. Fillers are needed to close the pores of open-grained, porous and semi-porous wood. 6. Applying the top coat. The top coat may be shellac, varnish, lacquer, penetrating oil, paint, or enamel, or others. Usually two or more coats are needed, and surface is sanded between each coat. 7. Rubbing, buffing, and waxing. After a clear top coat, such as varnish or linseed oil, is dry, the surface may be rubbed, polished, and waxed to produce the desired sheen and to provide additional protective coating. Applying finishes safely. Safety precautions. Keep safety uppermost in your mind when working with finishing material. 
all finishing materials have some degree of danger associated with them, be sure to observe the following precautions. 1. Wear approved eye protection. 2. Cover your clothing with an overall. 3. Wear a respirator when you are spraying finishing materials. 4. Avoid breathing fumes from toxic materials. And five, wash your hands thoroughly after using any finishing material.